Hi, this is your host, Subnir and welcome to another episode of TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us John Albright, Senior Director of Product Marketing at Mirantis. John, it's good to have you on the show. It's great to be here. Yeah, thanks for having me. You guys are regular at KubeCon, so tell me what is special this time. So, you know, um, KubeCon comes at a really exciting time for Mirantis and our customers. Um, we now have the Mirantis Cloud Native Platform, which encompasses all of the technology from Mirantis that helps customers ship code faster on any cloud infrastructure, you know, with security and certifications that they've come to expect from our technology. Um, but within that, now, a lot of the uh, Docker Enterprise products uh, are now Mirantis. So we have the Mirantis Kubernetes engine, which you might have known uh, uh, as the uh, Docker Enterprise Universal Control Plane. So in there, for KubeCon, of course, you get cluster orchestration with Kubernetes, um, but Swarm is in there as well. You know, and there's the secure registry and the container runtime, which was previously known as Docker Engine. Um, and then we've got the Mirantis Container Cloud, of course, which if you're running Kubernetes, it gives you that federated experience across all kinds of infrastructure, whether public cloud or bare metal. So you know, it's a it's a it's a really fun time for us at Mirantis, and uh, and we're getting a, a lot of excitement from our customers as they look at the at the way the uh, the portfolio is developing. Um, and of course, we're the OpenStack company, um, so we've got some interesting announcements around OpenStack running on Kubernetes coming in the uh, you know in the next couple of weeks. This event once again is going to be virtual. What impact will it have on the way we interact? Because Mirantis, you guys organized your own first event, so uh, tell about uh, the booth, the presence, and the interaction with the audience. We had the Mirantis Launchpad in September. Um, it was great, exciting for us to be able to get in front of a much bigger audience uh, and, and talk about all the great things that are going on there. But of course, KubeCon is the place to be uh, for containers and, and for Kubernetes. And so as a gold sponsor, uh, we have a booth in the gold hall, and we would encourage everybody to come there and uh, find out about the, the new things that we're announcing for KubeCon and kind of what's going on with, that, with our cloud native platform. OK, so let's talk about the announcement. What are you guys announcing at the event? We have two things, really. Um, one is new, and one is a, a really big uh, re uh, release for something that we've already had in market. And I'll just talk about that first. So Lens, um, anyone that hasn't played with Lens should really have a go. It's, it kind of simplifies Kubernetes. Uh, you you, you import, import your kubeconfig file, and it just with a Lens, it brings it all into focus. Excuse me for my little pun there, but it uh, so it gives you visibility across your Kubernetes clusters, and you can kind of play around, click around, see what's going on, and it's great. I, I learned a huge amount just by just by playing with it. Um, but it's also a very valuable tool for, if you're a developer for kind of tracking down some of those problems that your applications may be having uh, in their clusters. And uh, with this latest release, we ex announced the extensions API which means we're bringing a lot of uh, CNCF and Kubernetes ecosystem projects in um, and integrating them directly into the UI. So if you can imagine you're in a cluster and maybe you want Aqua security, uh, you've got Aqua security running. You know, you just go across to the three dots, click, and up come a bunch of options for Aqua security. So I think at the moment we have nine partners uh, who are working against that extensions API, but I know that each day we're adding a boatload more. So uh, that's, that's really exciting. So that's Lens 4.0. And new is something that we're calling K0S. Um, you know, K8S for Kubernetes. So what we're doing with that is really uh, emphasizing the zero. Um, and it's, it's what we're doing with that is making it a kind of a minimal footprint Kubernetes. It's, it's a vanilla Kubernetes, which we think is fairly unique in terms of Kubernetes distributions. Um, but it's designed to be that distribution that, that is suitable for you from the point you're developing to when you actually start uh, deploying in production. Um, has a lot of things kind of out of the box as well that you'll need. Um, and we're, we're super excited about that. It is an open source project as well. Um, so we're, we're hoping that folks will join us and contribute um, and kind of help, help the movement that we're starting at KubeCon. John, thank you so much for uh, taking your time out today and talk about the announcement uh, that are coming out from Mirantes at Coupon. And I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. It's great to be here. Yeah, thanks for having me.